Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. First thing, thank you to my new subscribers. Your support means the world to me. And to reintroduce myself to my new friends, my name is Stephanie, and I like to do a lot of try-on hauls because I love fashion. I also like to do vlogs because I like to share my experiences, so definitely stay tuned for those videos in the near future as the circumstances of our lives and our environment continues to improve. And to my YouTube family who have been supporting me for quite some time, big thank you to you guys. I'm sending you guys all the love back. In today's video, I want to do an Urban Outfitters Tron haul. As the weather is changing, becoming more and more cold, my wardrobe is changing too. I'm just hoping for an easy winter. Let's just say that as an Ottawa girl now living in Toronto, Toronto does have it easy, but fingers crossed that there's not going to be a lot of snow and it's not going to be too, too cold. But to be honest with you, it does get quite cold even in Toronto too. So I picked out some really cute outfits for the weather that we're currently experiencing right now, but I would also like to say that I'm more of a minimalist fashionista. I like to keep it simple and I also keep my wardrobe neutral in color, but from time to time I will add in a pop of color. Kind of like this Urban Outfitters sweater that I'm currently wearing. The color is yellow, but it has a bit of a khaki undertone to it. But overall the sweater is nice and thick. It is warm and I do like the little white detail that it has around the edges of the sweater. Honestly, I have way more items to show you guys, so let's get started into this video. So here's the first dress. I was interested in this dress because of the style. I really like the whole long shirt dress type of vibe that's going on, but I am in shock as to how short this dress really is. This has got to be just a shirt that you can wear with some leggings, maybe with some biker shorts. I don't know what's going on, but I would not wear this as a dress. It is way too short for my liking. This dress does have a crocodile, uh, a light crocodile texture that you can't see in pictures. The sleeves are quite large, and I think that's the way the fit is supposed to be. Uh, just because the entire dress itself without the belt kind of looks very, very big and baggy and loose. But I love the fit. The fit is to die for um, just because it makes me look like I have bigger hips and I have nice curves, which a girl can always appreciate. I know that this dress may look white on camera, but it's actually not. It's a beautiful cream color, and I wanted to add that with this faux type of leather crocodile texture, it's actually going to be quite easy to clean, especially given the fact that this dress is somewhat closer to white. I feel like given how short this dress is, perhaps it could be used as a jacket. I also got this other white dress, which I thought looked pretty cute with this moto jacket. So here is the dress without the jacket. I wanted to talk about the dress first before I get into talking about the jacket. Right off the bat, I will tell you one problem that I have with this dress is the split is up really high to the point where you can see half of my ass cheek. All it takes is a little tiny bit of wind to come by and flip this dress up and I'm pretty sure that the world will be able to see my undies. And believe me or not, that is one of my fashion fears. Now this dress is pretty cute, no doubt. It has a very square shape. I already have square shoulders, but the shape of this dress is making my square shoulders come out even more. It was very hard to get into this dress, so me wearing makeup and putting on this dress was definitely not easy. So for that, I would recommend the black and to maybe stay away from the white. I can tell already that this dress will get dirty really quickly given the material as well. So it is a stretchy ribbed type of material. Let's talk about this moto jacket. I wanted to pair this up with this moto jacket just because I feel like right now in fall, I can't go out without some type of coat, sweater, something over top short sleeve, especially this dress. So that's why I thought of pairing this moto jacket with this dress. And I felt like because this dress is pretty modern giving it a square shape, moto jacket would probably be a really good match for this dress. Let's get into the moto jacket. Okay, so here is the problem with this moto coat. I can't get my arm through the sleeve because there is a malfunction in this moto jacket, unfortunately. I can't show you guys any further of what it looks like on me. I think they must have sewn the fabric together in the sleeve and because of that, I can't get my arms 
through the sleeve. If I were to just put that one arm in, you guys can kind of see the style. I still want to give you guys a close-up shot. So this coat is still pretty cute to my opinion. And I like the fact that there is a zipper in the back of the sleeve to adjust the sleeve. Uh, sometimes I do like to open up my moto jacket sleeves if they have a zipper like this just because I like to roll up the sleeves if it's a hotter day than expected and then in the back itself I do like the detail of the seam going down in the back of the coat I thought it was pretty cute the bottom also has a bit of a seam detail going on there too I feel like in terms of design it just adds a more depth to the entire jacket and I do like the silver accessories at the collar and also at the bottom of the jacket it just accessorizes the jacket a little bit more oh when I did get the jacket including my dress in a size extra small even in a size extra small this dress actually leaves me a little bit of room so it doesn't feel too tight and I felt like with the one sleeve that I was able to fit into the jacket it did not feel tight at all so it is definitely true to size so if you guys do decide to order this jacket you may still be able to wear it it's just that this one had a wardrobe malfunction up next I want to show you guys this faux leather pants along with this lightweight rib cardigan so here is the entire outfit on me. I really enjoy these pleather pants because they're actually really good quality. The pleather itself is pretty thick. The only downfall of these pants is the sizing. Urban Outfitters actually sent me a size 26, but I'm really a size 24. And uh, unfortunately, as you guys can see in the back, is that there is a pretty big gap. It's quite unfortunate that it doesn't fit me well because it actually creates a bit of creasing in the stomach area, which is not too flattering to my opinion. So if you do go with these pants, make sure that you go with your regular size. And as for the shirt, it is a pretty cute shirt. However, I find that although it's kind of like a mahogany type of color, which is really, really pretty, it kind of matches with my hair. You guys already know that I like this color. Actually, I'm obsessed with this color. It is a very lightweight cardigan, and that means that I'm gonna be able to wear it during the summer as well. I'm obsessed with peekaboo open cut type of tops, so this style is definitely up my alley. With this top, I would recommend that you stick to your normal sizing as well because it does have a pretty good stretch. For my next look, I'm gonna be showing you guys this plaid oversized blazer along with this turtleneck. Now, emphasize on the oversize because this blazer is definitely one that you may be more satisfied with going one size down because look at the sleeves, it is humongous. And also too, I feel like it has that extra length that more so would look better as a dress than it would look as a blazer. So I'm gonna try it on and show you guys what I mean. So here is the blazer and to my opinion, it looks pretty cute as a dress. And honestly, I feel like you can wear it with jeans or with whatever pants that you guys may feel free to wear. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about this turtleneck. I literally thought that it was gonna be black because I clicked on the color and the picture that came up the turtleneck actually looked black, but then it said dark green. So I was just like, oh, that's interesting. A green that kind of looks like black. But then when it came in the mail, it actually looks much more green than the picture that is online. Let me give you guys a little close up of the green. I mean, I do like the green with the plaid, but I particularly like neutral colors. And this green was a surprise to me. The last thing that I want to say about this blazer is that it definitely deserves a double lining just because I personally like my blazers to be a little thicker. I'll admit that plaid isn't really my thing, but after I had picked out this plaid blazer, I thought I would give this plaid skirt a try, as well as this turtleneck sweater. This knit turtleneck sweater, guys. It is definitely a must-have. It is thick, warm, and the fact that it's cropped, it's gonna go along with a lot of high-waisted things in your closet. However, this skirt, I don't know about this skirt. The quality is just not there. The fabric is thin. I could have gone another Another size down or maybe two it's just very loose there's no elastic band around my waistline to kind of help that skirt stay in place but I feel like it does look flattering on it's just I don't know about this I don't know what I'm gonna do about this overall I felt like what I saw online in terms of the coloring was also a bit off but other than that combined with like thigh high over the knee boots this outfit will look so good. For my next outfit, one question guys, what is fall without a trench coat? 
I was actually excited to see what this trench coat looked like in person because it did look nice in pictures. It does have big pockets, adjustable belt, and you can even adjust the sleeves as well. Only thing though is I feel like I'm not going to be able to wear it all the way transitioning into winter. I'm going to need to layer up underneath this trench coat. I also decided to purchase these pants and then this top. So this is more of like a sporty tank top that's underneath. These knit pants are so comfortable. Oh my goodness. And I only went with white just because I feel like the trench coat needed to stand out a little bit. So I needed for everything to just mesh really well. The only thing that I would say about these pants is that you guys may need to go and exercise up because these pants they fit really well but they fit pretty tight and if you are going to wash these pants don't put them in the dry because they will shrink as well the top is pretty good quality again i keep mentioning quality because that's one of the things that i like to focus on especially when you are spending the buck you need to spend the buck and it needs to make sense so that's why i'm mentioning that i do definitely recommend this top if you guys are looking for something a little bit more sporty this dress is the next item that I wanted to show you guys. It is white and it does come in a black pinstripe and I felt like I really wanted the black one versus the white but I wanted to see how the white one fits in case the black one comes back in stock. I'm definitely going for the black because I just find that it looks much better um, in terms of style that's just my opinion also too just like I said right now it's sold out so that definitely tells you right there that the black is a lot more popular than the white talking about it and holding it up won't do it any justice so i want to show you guys what it looks like on me and then therefore perhaps it will help you guys make a better judgment this dress is a pretty unique little dress i find that for fall slash winter pairing it up with a turtleneck or even a t-shirt if you guys are daring would be perfect i like the split that it has um, at the side it's not too high and i like that the skirt part is not too short and if it is too short for you guys you can always adjust the strap to make it a tad bit longer but overall if you guys come across the black one I find that the black one looks a lot better than the white one the white one just doesn't do it justice and if you guys really want to know the quality is there it is a really good quality dress so if you guys were looking for a dress like this I would definitely recommend it so for this dress I actually got it in a size extra small and as you guys can see I have a lot of room left with the extra small it does not fit tight on me and I don't think that it's supposed to either way and in case you guys were wondering this turtleneck is actually not from Urban Outfitters only the dress is last but not least I decided to pair up this white rib cardigan along with the silk skirt if you guys didn't know that brown was in brown is your new color this chocolate is definitely classy meat chic I am loving this look right now I just like the way that the overall look looks the skirt actually has straps on both sides so you got straps on this side and adjustable straps on that side and then it also has a zipper in the back also to the cardigan they have real buttons so the buttons are, are uh, leopard print buttons and they actually go really well with the skirt actually originally when I picked the cardigan I was not intentionally trying to match the cardigan with the button it just worked out so well that way so when it came into the mail I was like dude this is such a good match Again, I feel like out of all the Urban Outfitters outfits that I picked up in this video today, it's safe for me to say that all the cardigans were really good. So that is all the outfits that I have for you guys today. Overall, I do enjoy shopping at Urban Outfitters because they do have a lot of hidden gems. However, the only thing that gets to me sometimes is the pricing. Especially if you are a smart shopper, if you know where to get certain items at a lower price, then obviously that's definitely something that's going to be in the back of your mind. But that is all the outfits that I have for today. and I hope Hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye